Hey guys, my name is Mandy and I am the founder and owner of Brick Road Co. I am a reseller I'm based out of Colorado. I've thrifted, I think, since as long as I can remember. I'm really combining all of my past loves into one huge endeavor. Through my own personal health and career journey, I've decided that being a posher full-time is what I would love to do. Primarily, you can find me on the Poshmark app. What I thought I would do, because I've been struggling with where to even start with content, is just jump right in. I have to credit my teen daughters for giving me a lot of the courage to be able to kind of step forward and feel like I even have an inkling of an idea of what I'm doing. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna run some errands and start kind of some organizing. My inventory is a show. Half of my bins, they're well inventoried, they have a number to correspond with my listing, and they're beautiful, and then the other half is a mess. After a struggle to find some inventory this weekend, I just said we're overhauling my photography area, my packing area, the storage area. I need organization because Brick Road Co. is very busy now and I don't really have time to be looking for things and frankly I am really good at organizing so this isn't okay. I thought I would show you around what I currently have. When I started poshing I did flat lays on a white blanket. They were horrendous. You can scroll down to the bottom of my solds in my Poshmark closet if you'd like to take a look at how awful they were. I also used my basement floor and it was concrete at the time. So not really a fan of how those looked, but a way to generate a second string of income from home. I joined Posh and I took some pictures of my kids stuff and lo and behold, it sold pretty quickly actually. So I jumped in and started with our own items in our own closet. Being that I have two teenage daughters, we cycle through clothes a lot. Then we kind of just started dabbling and reselling a little bit and found that we really like it. And we'll go ahead and get into how I am going to upgrade an inventory, um, no, not upgrade an inventory, how I'm going to upgrade and overhaul my in inventory. Why can't I talk right now? <laughs> Good God, bleh. So I thought I would start this weekend as we were doing a total overhaul of my room and our organization in the garage. <laughs> kind of show you guys around and then I've got to get my waiting family going to where we're going. So let's show you guys what we've got here. Okay guys, so this is where the magic happens. Wow, you would think this lady has like some fabulous area. But she does her Poshmark, but it's really my bedroom where I list and photograph. Now that you've seen a 3D view of my bedroom, you'll see here that I have my mannequin I'm currently laying on my bed, but it's normally on the floor where I was just sitting is for my flat lace. So this is just a piece of paper with some poster board. This came from Hobby Lobby and it's the dollar store. So the total cost I think was about 10 bucks for that. It works really well for beginners for flat lace. And then we've got a couple other things I need to list. More of my supplies for blogging. Over here we have <laughs> this crappy corner that I cannot wait to fix. So my hope is to recover the Chase Lounge chair and organize all of that. It's just kind of a mess, honestly. I've got measuring tape laying around in random spots. Here we pins and it's just it's a disaster so my goal today is going to be to make this look more of like my bedroom when I'm not poshing and then have more of an organizational system for measuring and listing and photographing that isn't just like disgusting disgusting I will start there and see where we get all right guys so this is the loft area which is where we measure and where i steam my clothes so i've got a nice little rack here this is everything that i need to currently measure so we hang everything up here and then i've got a little coffee table and you can see my little steamer there and so i'd like it to be more lofty there's a television back there that would be nice as well welcome to my guest room closet why is this stuff in here i don't know this is it's kind of like my death pile but i hide it so I don't have to feel bad about it. This top one is items that we try to repair. I'm big on reusing, upcycling. It tears me apart when I find something and it has just a small problem. Often I'm the person that knowingly picks that up. My mom is an excellent seamstress. I come from a long line of sewers in my family. We try to mend it, we try to upcycle it. And these are, this is my death pile that I pretend is not a pile. I can simply do that. However, I don't like that it's in my guest room and it doesn't make any sense. So hopefully 
we can tackle that at some point because my guest room's actually kind of cute when it's not trashed. So normally these live in my garage. However, we're in the middle of my overhaul. These are the bins that we have actually put every item in the bin in a anti-suffocation bag ready to go. So I started just buying these bulk anti-suffocation bags on either eBay or Amazon. You can find them everywhere. It lends a professional look to it, I think. So we just ordered a bunch more of those and we've been working on making sure every one of these items is not only folded appropriately, delinted but we've got them in bags and then the next step will be to slowly number our inventory that way everything is numbered and corresponds with our listing if you come over to my garage you may see a mess first of all uh, <laughs> but what you'll also see here is one shelf that I love and then a mess our goal is to have all of them looking like that that's our plan Let's see what we can get done today and how much better we can make this look. Hey guys, so we went ahead and stopped at a couple places that were more personal shopping places. We had to pick up a few softball items for my younger daughter who has decided she's going to play softball. She uh, needed a bunch of equipment that I had no idea how much that stuff cost, so that was delightful and um, a little hard on the pocketbook. The hubby and I are headed to Home Depot and I'm hoping to get a few things to get this whole area organized. We're gonna work on the garage inventory as well as some space for doing my listing and photography. I did find a couple good deals that I'll show you guys when we get back. Both were at Burlington Coat Factory and I picked up for 12 bucks another garment rack. So I have one and it's a two tier garment rack, but what I find is I don't really have a really adequate storage space for like longer garments. like full trench coats or evening gowns. So I picked up one of those guys for about 12 bucks. And then I got one of those really cute three tier rolling racks that um, people use for makeup or other organizational options. And I'm thinking I'm gonna put like, all my measuring tapes and whatnot in that so I can roll it around and use it as I'm steaming and as I'm in my rooms. And then I'm hoping to find a few more organizational things and another one of those huge industrial shelves at Home Depot. I've got my girls at home packing up more of the inventory that we have in our bag and I will show you guys what we've got here and maybe give you a, a few peeks in Home Depot at what we're thinking about doing. Hey guys, we are at Home Depot right now and we're looking at paint colors, trying to decide if there is anything in the neutral colors that we think would be a good idea. I've got the hubby here who is patiently waiting on me. Um, we'll take a peek and see if we can find something that's maybe a little bit white or off white. And I think we've gotten everything that we want to. I've got my lovely patient husband here. Say hi. Hello. So what we've picked out is a little bit of paint for the backdrop. Rather than doing like any professional photography lighting, I've decided to opt for a work light because I also do a lot of home improvement. I'm trying to double up, but we're gonna go ahead and get the Ryobi workstation because it has adjustable color temps on it. So much like the photography lighting that I've been looking up on Amazon, you can adjust cool and warm tones to this. And I also picked up just a few other random organizational things. So I think that should be enough to get us started with what we want to do and we will take it from there. So our little $12 garment rack is proving to be a total pain in the ass here. We can't get the screw to fit in the hole. Greg's trying to like drill a larger hole to see if that works. I'm gonna get another screw. And he's gonna go get another screw because this is clearly not the easy to put together 10 minute adjustable garment rack that I thought I was getting. Yay, thanks Kaylee for helping. Mm -hmm. Here you have it in all of its glory. Isn't it beautiful? This is what I've wanted since last April. Gorgeous, gorgeous, yay! Hey guys, so it's been a while. I took a little spring break trip with my family. We've done a little bit of shopping and I've totally sucked at vlogging. I'm trying to get back to getting my Poshmark space up and going. So behind me you'll see my impulsive Mandy stuff that I do. I decided to paint my wall white. I That wasn't really impulsive so much as that was impulsive. I just was like, oh, I want to see what it looks like yesterday. So that's what I did. And I'll be going over some of my purchases later. I have tried out the Ryobi lighting kit and I absolutely love it. It was a really good purchase. I'm super excited about that. I like my little gold cart that I got at Burlington Coat Factory. And I wish I had about four more of those for different rooms in my house. We're gonna do a little bit of painting today. I'm usually a total Sherwin-Williams girl, but out of convenience and time, I 
it will defer to Bear at Home Depot. I got kind of their middle of the row stuff which has the paint and primer in one. The name of the color that we're going to use is 52 White, which confused the crap out of me and the girl at Home Depot. Apparently 52 White used to be called something else longer, but 52 was in that. They've since changed names, but this is a very popular white because it's super neutral. So it doesn't have a yellow tone. It doesn't have any of the cooler blue tones to it. But I think it's going to look awesome. We might just do one wall. I don't know where the hell this is going to go. So we'll just have to see. Things are starting to come together. I think it's going to be a lot brighter, a lot less editing for my photos. So that's going to be a huge time saver for me. We're going to start by hopefully getting at least this wall painted so it doesn't look like that and then start adding in a few other things that I've purchased to make this a little bit more streamlined and how it should have been probably like a year ago to make things a little bit easier and cuter. Sweet. Here we go. Okay, while well, we're done painting that, or I, with some help, am done, but it looks awesome. Nice and crisp, if I must say so myself. So we'll do some touch up tomorrow in some morning light maybe, but aside from that, I'm excited. So here's my wonderful husband. He's installing some new outlets that have, there we go, those little guys there. Thanks babe, nice demonstration. Those are going to have, <laughs> thanks Vanna. Those are going to have the ability to plug in my USB-C for my Mac and um, another charger port. Those are in hot commodity with the kids. We tend to kind of coagulate in this room a lot. It's currently a total disaster, but we're getting there. Hey guys, welcome back. I am so excited to show you all of the things that we've done in our posh areas since we started with phase one of our upgrading and organizing projects. Well, I have a lot of things to show you guys. I'm super excited. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with all of the awesome things that I have done to upgrade my posh areas. We're gonna start with my bedroom, which of course, in my prior video, I mentioned that I use a lot of my bedroom space for poshing. So we've done quite a bit since my last video. And I apologize, I don't have a lot of vlogging for some of the shopping and upgrades that we did because life has been super busy. So I want to wrap this up and show you where we've gotten with phase one. So let's start with my room. Okay, so if you remember my room last time was a total disaster. So I'm thrilled with how everything is looking right now. We have done quite a few things. One of the things that I found on Facebook Marketplace, you can see one table here and a couple there was a set of nesting tables that I got for $15. And then I did get my nice little gold cart and I used that for a lot of my supplies there. All well, the white wall turned out, but I think I'm actually going to paint the rest of the room white or just leave the one wall tan and paint everything else white because I really do think it brightens up the space. And then I also incorporated this tiny little hook, one of those cool strong wall hooks. And what I love about this is you can't really see it I use that little hook and a cute hanger for a lot of my photos for listings. And I'm in a pinch for time. I can go through quite a few items and get them all listed fairly quickly. And then I've got my tripod and a few other materials. So here you'll see I have a Rolo label printer and I'm very pleased so far with how the label printer has worked. I just connect it to my Mac using my hyperdrive. I've got my extra bags and mannequin there. And over here I have right now my adorable dog Sadie who is checking out anything that might be going on outside. We used to have a really ugly chase lounge chair there. If you remember, I called it disgusting and it, it was. And so right now we have more of the daybed look going on there. I really like using the white daybed, not only for piling extra inventory, but we do a lot of binge watching of movies in here. So that's been really nice. It also serves as an extra place to measure and photograph. That is what my room looks like. Okay, so next we're going to move on to the loft space. If you can remember, it was kind of a, a disaster. And I mentioned there was a TV back behind where all of the clothing and whatnot was stacked. On a typical day, this loft actually looks pretty empty. Right now, we just have the one rack that Lauren has been posting some things for her closet on. But aside from that, 
my loft actually looks like a loft space. When people come up here, they don't see all of our Poshmark stuff. We picked up several additional clothing racks, so I believe we have three of those now. I'm trying to spend as little money as possible, and then ideally what I like to do when I'm not out in the loft space is I will come into this area and just wheel my clothing in here and place it along the wall of my guest room so that way it can be tucked away discreetly when I don't have time and you'll see that my guest room actually looks like a beautiful guest room. So that's exciting. I have some places to do my sewing and if you'll remember this is the closet that I was really frustrated with because it had a lot of my posh stuff in it. So now we've got white fabrics and tie dyeing material up at the top and then we've got a space here the left cubby space is for my youngest daughter and the right is for my oldest and those are all t-shirts that we will use for a t-shirt quilt someday and dance recital costumes and soccer uniforms so i'm really excited to have none of my posh stuff in my beautiful guest room slash sewing mending room so next you'll remember we had a pile of Tupperwares here in my dining room that is now gone. And then if you walk with me into my office, I didn't even get to show you guys this and it's been a continual work in progress. But I'm really excited with how it turned out with this space. So I added curtains and I found this adorable little desk that I like to incorporate from my shipping station because it's clear. We used to just have this really old grimy desk there so this is a lot more narrow, it fits, it's streamlined. And then we created a shipping station over there with our boxes. This is my old desk that I'd like to refinish eventually. Over here we've got all of my crafting supplies and more crafting and poshing supplies. I love my office now. It's got a lot of things in here, but it doesn't look like it's too terribly cluttered. I do want to do some things with the walls, but overall I'm pretty excited with how that turned out. So next, if you come with me into my garage, you'll remember I did show you guys a little bit of an update on how this looks, but I wanted to show you how freaking awesome it looks now. So that, my friends, is my inventory area. Flip this around for you guys and show you. I'm so excited. Beautiful. And if you look closely, you can see that we do have a lot of labeling and organizing completed. We have a little bit to go as far as eBay inventory, but our Poshmark inventory is set. And packing takes, I would say, one third of the time that it used to. There you have it. for the love. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed my tour of my upgraded posh space, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, and that's it for my organization and upgrade today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. We'll see you guys again soon. Thanks, bye.